and we deserve more and we are more and we are strong and not in the sense of like I don't need a man strong or I'll come to your rescue with my cape on strong but I mean we are emotionally strong we are tough because we kind of have to be unfortunately hey guys, welcome to my channel um, this is my first kind of self-care video um and when i mean self-care i mean all about whatever makes you feel good because self-care is important and burnout is real from any aspect of your life whether it's emotional burnout work burnout school burnout friendship burnout it's all so so real that um i think it's important to really always take a step back and check in with ourselves and reevaluate where we are in our space i know so today's video i kind of wanted to because i had this epiphany earlier while i was working on you know setting up my filming stuff and uh something happened to me you know something traumatic happened to me when i was younger and i was very um i don't know I kind of kept it really, really, really tight to me, close to me. And I don't think that it did me any favors. I think that it kind of became this domino effect of how I am and who I am today. And because of that, I don't know how I would have been, right? And so I, I don't miss anything. But it's just thinking about it earlier made me, you know, kind of realize, am I holding on to it for me or am I holding on to it for that, right? Holding on to things for how it would make others perceive others is not conducive to your well-being ever. So with that, I realized that in, in because of that event, right, it definitely created created some of my anxiety you know certain things make me um very anxious public speaking makes me very <laughs> very anxious um it doesn't matter how much i know the material it doesn't matter who's in front of me um it th that you know it trickles that down i don't like sharing too much about myself because it makes me feel vulnerable it makes me feel kind of exposed right and that triggers this anxious feeling that i have of allowing people to see me and and be able to judge me right and so i'd start sweating um and i kind of my my speech would become a little kind of back i don't know kind of strange but i think that it's important and i don't know what kind of video this is going to be i don't think this is going to be a very long video but i think that it's important for us to really take a take a take a catalog or log you know, um, things that happen to us, um, things that change who we were, who we are, or things that impacted us to the point of where of where we can recall the memory and to really pinpoint that and really kind of evaluate. Okay, how I am is this how I want to be? Um, is is this something? Is this something that changed me for the better? Is this something that changed me for the worse? Do I want to change? Do I want to be different? Do I want to be better? Right? And you'll always have people that's that'll tell you, oh, um, you have a bad attitude, or oh my gosh, you're too nice, you let people walk all over you. But and 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 think of it for you, right? Are you do you like being that way? And if not, why are you that way? And if you do like being that way, are you allowing what others say impact you? And why is that impacting you? You see, there's so much to your life that needs to be. And, and I'm not speaking evaluating your life every single day, every minute of the day, but just take really one good internal catalog and mental catalog and figure out where you are. Right. Because life is short. Life is way too short to be upset about something, to be sad about something, to be whatever that happened either long ago or recently. Figure out, OK, what is my end goal? What is my purpose? What 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 am I doing this for? Who am I doing this for? Am I getting help for me or for someone else? You know, um, and how can I avoid patterns of this, whether it's from myself or from others in the future. So 
is it best to hold on to traumatic events that happened a long time ago? And the answer will forever be no. Okay? Because you should never be ashamed. You should never be embarrassed. Because if something happened to you, that doesn't mean it was meant to happen to you. And that does that does not mean it's meant for you to hold on to, to protect anyone else, to protect anyone else's feelings. Because at the end of the day, realistically, if they cared about your feelings, whatever happened wouldn't have happened. And always be open to the thought that not everyone is going to like you and be okay with that, right? You see, I'm just going from one thought to another to another, so... I don't know. I felt like, I don't know if I'm using this as like a little diary for myself, but hopefully I can let y'all in and, and you guys can take what I give. Um, not everything, of course, because we're all not the same, but I don't know, just kind of take what I say. And if it applies to you, it applies to you. If it doesn't, leave it where it's at, you know? So if you guys like this video, then give me some... Like, thoughts some feedback let me know what you guys want to kind of get to know about i like i know my channel is kind of random but this is very important to me and i kind of want to keep that and i love fashion i love beauty and i love hair so i just i want to keep that as well so why not choose both life is too short to pick one and plus i'm on pisces <laughs> and i'm very indecisive so <laughs> um and i want to do everything and one of my biggest toxic traits is feeling like i can conquer and do every single thing in the world and so i try but anyways, um, love yourself. That's it. Just love yourself because you are special, you are important, and you are beautiful. And I'll see you guys in my next video.